Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I am going to answer one of the selenium interview questions. That is, what are the limitations of selenium? Let me answer. These are the different list of limitations that selenium cannot automate. So first one, only web applications can be automated using selenium test automation tool. But if you want to automate some desktop applications or native mobile applications, that is not possible with Selenium. Okay. Selenium can only automate web applications. That's the number one limitation of Selenium. Second one, Selenium doesn't have any inbuilt reporting feature. By default, Selenium doesn't come with any reporting feature. For example, if you run some scripts using Selenium, by default, no report will be generated. So to generate the reports with, with Selenium and all, right, Selenium library need to be integrated with some third party libraries like testng or extent reports, et cetera, to generate the reports. But by default, there is no inbuilt reporting thing in Selenium. Okay. No built in mechanism for downloading the files. Okay. Selenium doesn't have any library or some commands, you know, or a mechanism for downloading the files. Inbuilt mechanism is not there, but uh, some external or some kind of way is there where you can download the files, but still, there is not an inbuilt mechanism of Selenium. Okay. There's a possibility of downloading the files using Selenium but it's not from the library of Selenium, okay? So we have to do some process or take some process to download the files. Next, issues with handling dynamic web elements, okay? Selenium is not good with uh, automating the handling of dynamic web elements, okay? So like uh, JavaScript based uh, automation tools are there, right? They are very good with that. Uh, that is handling of dynamic web elements and all like Protractor or Cypress, etc. are very good with handling of uh, dynamic web elements, automating of handling of dynamic web elements, but in Selenium, Still, we are getting some issues, okay? I'm not saying Selenium cannot automate. It can automate as much as possible. There may be some extent where, you know, some dynamic web elements, it will result in some issues, okay? So cannot automate CAPTCHA and barcodes, okay? So most of the automation tools uh, are limited here, okay? In terms of automating the CAPTCHA and barcodes, right? I and mean, most of the automation tools, this is a disadvantage. Why? Because applications intentionally put CAPTCHA and barcodes so that people should not be able to crack it, okay? A tool should not be able to, or a board, a bot, a bot should not be able to crack it. Okay. So that's the reason why, you know, to identify the real humans from the computers or boats, uh, you know, the, auto, uh, the applications, applications are providing these captchas and barcodes. Okay. As a security means, if you're able to automate means uh, there's something, you know, uh, it's a hacking tool or something. Okay. That hackers use. Okay. So Selenium has a limitation as other tools. Selenium also has a limitation of uh, unable to automate captchas and barcodes. That's fine. Next one cannot automate images. Okay. So in some applications, we have to test the images, but Selenium doesn't have any inbuilt mechanism or something, okay, to automate the testing of the images, which is not possible. Not only images, we cannot also automate uh, video and video options, okay, player options and all audio and audio player options cannot be automated. Images, videos and audios cannot be automated with the help of Selenium and captures and barcodes cannot be automated with, with Selenium, okay. So these are the general, you know, limitations, whereas these are the important ones, you can say. Fine. So hope guys, you got the different uh, list of limitations uh, of using Selenium test automation tool. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.